Hello, horsey people. We're back with Rival Stars Horse Racing. And after our very adventurous couple of episodes of trying to breed the peacock Appaloosa, we're now going to breed two peacock Appaloosas and see what happens. So we're only breeding peacock Appaloosas together today. Because I don't know what on earth is going to come out. It's probably one of the weirdest, uniquest, is that a word, uh, coat patterns on the game. So what we're going to do, believe it or not, Teapot here is actually a Peacock Appaloosa, but she's grey, so you can't see it. Uh, peacock here actually is Peacock, hence I know him to that. So let's go to the fossils. We are going to breed, how much money do I have? Enough. Enough. Uh, so yeah, we're going to breed Teapot which I might keep as the name Teapot because I find that funny. But guys, if you have any cool name suggestions that you think would fit this Peacock Appaloosa, then let me know. But guys, don't put Spots. Come on, you got to be more original than the name Spots. I mean, Teapot is a great name, right? But come up with something that you think is going to suit. Are we having a bit of a glitch here, I think? Are we having a glitch? I'm not sure. Okay. I just want to take the Stallion. I want to take my peacock stallion for a little bit of a gander around the Swiss Alps because you guys know how much I love it. And then we're going to go and discover some foliolios. So, um, yeah, we've just played a bit of the mobile version of Rival Stars Horse Racing and I wanted to cry. <laughs> I was like, <sighs> I mean, it's fine, but the pasture update, which actually isn't really an update anymore, it's been there a while, kind of makes me go... That's cute. I love that. Look at this genuine, beautiful Swiss Alps, though. This is stunning. Makes me so happy. Um, makes me want more. Not gonna lie. Pickpocket, I want more of this. Um, but all you do is sort of pot around. You jump some jumps. You have a nice time. And that's it, really. It's, it's great. But yeah, on the mobile version... The mobile version is just it's painful, I think the word is. You have to wait for so long for everything. But, you know, you guys know this. You guys know this. So he's actually, this little peacock guy is, um, he is not a level 10. So he's kind of like, but he's still just as good as the others going around here. Oh, that was close. My steering isn't great, but it's fine. But yeah, so, um, I've been playing the mobile version a little bit. I wanted to kind of compare it with, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, woohoo! Yeah, I wanted to kind of compare it with, um, I'll get the words out in a minute, equestrian the game. We will do that, and I also want to do a desktop versus mobile version of Rival Stars Horse Racing, so yeah. Aw, oh, let's go in the little jump paddock, it's cute. I don't know if these are, like, names. Oh, they're just wooden rails, cool. So these are great. These are really cute. I keep thinking I'm on a question in the game though with this. It does look quite similar in a way. Oh, my steering. Okay, yeah, my steering is like not as good. See, on my level 10 horse, I could get around all of these. So that's, that's, that's unique. That's unique. Okay, let's go out again. This is so fun. I literally love this. We're going to go and discover what two like peacock. Can I jump from a trot? Oh, I missed it. Whoa. I wonder if I can jump from a trot. I don't know, actually. I don't really know. But I did not know that the peacock Appaloosa was a coat until this game. I did not know it existed, but then I'm from the UK. Do you have to canter? Can you can you trot? I don't know. Let's see. That was a terrible example. Yeah, my steering's not as good. I'm definitely going to say that. So a level 10 definitely helps. Woohee! I love the striding. I literally feel like I'm riding myself. But look at that beautiful view. It is literally stunning. I love it. Okay, we'll leave it there because I'm going to get carried away otherwise. There's nothing really going on. It's just you jump around some jumps. But for some reason, I really enjoy it and I don't know why. So it's very strange that I like it this much. Okay, let's go and discover some foals. They're not exactly going to cost us the earth here. So what do two peacock appaloosas bread together produce now before we press this skip button could you guys do me a favor and could you press the like button on this video i'd really appreciate it helps the channel also if you haven't already then please do subscribe and turn that notification bell on oh it's free i love free stuff hmm 
Might be a hidden peacock again. It's a very strange thing to say. A hidden peacock. Let's skip to mare. Possibly. This is what happened before with Teapot. Look really hard, guys. Let's have a Loki cookie. Let's see. Yeah! It's a peacock Abelusa, but you can't see it because it's grey. Which I quite like. It's like a hidden horse. Now, we can't breed her with her dad. So, either we need to breed another stallion somewhere or buy one or something. I don't think it's going to happen. I think we'd be very lucky. Ooh! Another peacock Abelusa. We need a family photo of this. That's cute. Very strange, like, gene mutation. Let's call this one... Ap happy Appy. I'm going to look on the comment section in a minute for your guys' name suggestions. And then hopefully you guys will get a shout out if your name is selected. I uh, don't care how silly a name is as long as it's not rude, of course. So, um, let's go check that out. Let's get a little family shot of them. That is really cute. Look how many spots there are. I'd love to breed a black one today. That's extremely ambitious. Um, but we'll see. We will see. I want a picture somewhere else, actually. Let's put the... Um, I think you only get the three shots, actually, here. Guys are like, why do you keep taking pictures, man? Okay. Um, let's age her to mare. It would be nice to breed a black peacock today, but I'm not sure. We'll see. I don't think we will, because the only peacock abelusas I have are the chestnuts and these two greys, weirdly. And Treasure Thursday is the only... Uh, it's the only stallion I have that is going to be inbreeding. Look how cool this coloration is, though. Look, it's like... I couldn't have planned that better, grazing between the two peacocks. Like, it's wicked, isn't it? Hmm. Maybe we could find... I need to find another peacock stallion, but... Maybe it's silly. I don't really want to do inbreeding. I mean, you know. I'd love it to be a black horse. Maybe I should breed him with a non-peacock. But then that's kind of going against the whole video today. The whole point in this video today is to breed peacock abelusas together. So I have 26 million. Let's go to the market. Let's just check this guy's lineage. I think I'm on for a slippery, slippery slope if I carry down here. So what I could do is breed... I want to kind of breed a new stallion. So I want to breed a stallion that's not going to be inbreeding. So we could try and breed Happy Appy with maybe a stallion from here. Just to warrant breeding a new peacock stallion. Oh, well that was lucky. Let's breed with this one. So he... This isn't kind of counting because I just need a new stallion. A different shade of stallion as well would really go well. So let's go straight to Happy Appy now and see if we've bred a peacock stallion. Oh, it's cute. It's not a peacock stallion. But if we keep breeding that combo, we might, we might get it. That's cute. There's a lot of peacock in this horse's, fa horse's family tree. So we might, oh, very nice dapples. We might go and check her coat pattern out and see. Yeah, so let's breed her with... Ooh. I don't know who to breed her with, though, because that's totally inbreeding. Hmm. Oh, dear. But, guys, this is April Falls month, so we're going to be breeding lots of different colours. It's going to be a very, very colourful month of falls. That's my plan. Okay, let's breed these two together again. I think, I just think we will get a nice foal out of that. Who are we going to breed now? Okay, let's go straight into Peacock. We do have enough state space on our stable block. And, you know, we can always sell some things if we need. Oh, it's really cute. I want that bone Peacock. I'd love the desktop version to have the pasture update. The pasture update is really cool. If you didn't see the mobile me playing the mobile version and unlocking the pasture then you guys have got to go check that out it's really cute i kind of want to be in there with them that is so relaxing this is a lovely little stallion this could be a dark horse in the sense oh it's a rubber car now again <sighs> he could be carrying the peacock gene he is not carrying the peacock gene even though both of his parents 
are peacock appaloosas. Hmm, don't know what to do there. I like the name Lost Fish though. I'm totally gonna... Well, if his name is Lost Fish, his name needs to be this, doesn't it? I bet you it start out. Yeah, it doesn't like it. And E M O. So I love this little party trick someone gave me about putting spaces in between. Okay. Hmm. All the way brilliant now. Uh, I think let's go to let's go to Teapot Planet and see. Now, believe it or not, she's an Appaloosa. She is a peacock Appaloosa. Yes, a different shade as well. That's kind of what I wanted because. You guys know I don't like the dirty shoulder look, but it doesn't matter. It's a different shade, and it works, and it's fine, so. Cute. Let's give this one a name that you guys have suggested. Thanks for all your names and stuff, guys, and giving your time to actually comment. I really appreciate that. Mmm, let's have a look. La 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 la. Hmm, we should do some Harry Potter-themed foals, Elizabeth. We should. Let's have a look. Oh, hey, okay, here comes some names. So, this is from... This is this is crazy. Dog gone wild! Exclamation mark. You've come up with Valentine, Orchid, Sunny, or Opal for one of the posts I put out, so we could do that. Opal's kind of cute. Let's call her Opal. Isn't it an Opal that you guys are gonna think I'm really stupid, probably? Uh oh, it's really nice. It's a really nice color, actually. Bringing different shades of the peacock coat pattern. Maybe we could call it that today. Um. Oh, Nima, I'm gonna have to sell you, I think. You're not gonna produce... You're not gonna produce uh, Peacock, I believe so. Yeah, in Jurassic Park, isn't it the opal that contains the bug thing that then they build all these dinosaurs from? Yes, I know. I'm really sad, but I don't care. I love I love Jurassic Park. Okay, happy, happy. Ooh, I love having free stable blocks. I think... Let's breed with this chestnut. This is purely to try and breed. Let's have a look at your lineage. It's a blanket, I believe, so we don't need that. Uh, we're going to try and get a stallion. That's my plan. That's my plan, Batman. I want a stallion that is hopefully not going to be inbred. <laughs> I think your dad is this. Yes, your dad is that. Let's have eager. I think you're a peacock, I believe, so. Yeah, who's your dad? Okay, we can breed with this one. Beep. Surely... Surely this will breed a peacock at Blusa, but we shall see. I love Xena, she's so cool. Teapot planet. Okay. Now this is primarily just to breed a peacock at Blusa. but these are all peacock at Blusa. It's just the dad isn't at the moment, but we will we'll have more combos, I promise. Right, let's go into Happy Appy and see, see what we get. Ooh, that's quite pretty. Yeah, that's really nice, actually. Oh, I want to keep that. It looks like chocolate. We need an Easter egg fall video. What would we even call that? La, 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 la. Okay, let's have a look. Mmm, Leela Trent. Leela is such a nice name. Leela, you get so lucky with breeding. I don't know how. I wing it. Um, I always have to struggle with breeding. Just keep breeding, you'll be fine. I've probably bred over 500 foals. Like, that's not even joking. So what are we going to call this one? Daisy Waffle Blue. Waffle is a great name. Waffles. Oh, we already had a waffle. Nah, it doesn't matter. Because who's Waffle's name? If you know what I mean. <laughs> that is so nice. I love that. I love it. I love waffles. Let's have a look at this. Okay, so you got pe Peacock Appaloosa hidden in your jeans. Probably need to sell some horses now. Uh, I don't want to sell him. He's so handsome. Okay, we're going to sell you. Which is rubbish. Uh, guys, I just had a massive bowl of Cocoa Pops, right? And I'm still hungry. What's wrong with me? I've got worms. <laughs> If I didn't do, like, loads of exercise, guys, I'd, I'd be a bit chubs, I think. Blanket Appaloosa. Yeah, we probably don't really need you either. Well, we're making some space. We are going to breed... Solid... Solidly just... Okay, let's have a look here. <laughs> just peacocks together. I'm a peacock, I gotta fly. Okay, let's go into... We've got the two greys left. Kind of want to breed Opal, but who's her dad? 
Treasure Thursday is her dad. So we could breed her, actually, with that stallion we found in the... In here. Just because I'm trying to avoid a little bit of inbreeding. Which horse is it? It's Opal. Don't tell me Opal is a... Yeah, there we go. I thought Opal might have been a stallion for a minute. I'm not always the, the like... The most awake when it comes to what sex the horse is. Okay, let's uh, let's go straight into eager episode. Let's see what we get. Is it a peacock? Ooh, it's not, but I love it. That's a leopard, spotted leopard. <laughs> what? Well, let's get a picture of that. It's really cute. Okay, let's skip straight to Mer. What we're gonna call this one, guys? I need some more names. Uh, Lindsay Davidson, you've come up with some cool names. I do. I have actually recently met a horse called this. Cosmo. How strange. Never heard that name in my life. And then all of a sudden, bish bash bosh. Next thing you know, I hear it constantly. What's that about? Cosmo's beautiful. Let's just check any hidden genes. Mmm. So probably will produce something cool. I mean, I'd love it if we could not inbreed, but I think I can't avoid it. <laughs> Let's go straight into teapot. Another little dappled. I mean, I'm not complaining because I love the colour, but I'm quite surprised. I love that. I think that's really unique. Destiny toast. I'm going to call you toast. It kind of looks like toast. I can't believe some of you guys. What is Vegemite? I've never had Vegemite. Vegemite on toast. A lot of you Australians have come to that. All I know is there's a song that goes, And she may be a Vegemite sandwich. No? <laughs> okay, why don't we use toast? This is a great idea. Don't breed with teapot. Okay, I'm just going to use... I might use toast as a stud for a minute. I'll try not to inbreed. I think it's inevitable. <laughs> okay, let's go with Cosmo. Cosmo is so pretty because some of them might have like the same dad and stuff, but it's just a game. It's not real. Teapot Planet is his mum, so we're not going to do that. Let's go Peacock. Could be an interesting combo, you know. Um, Could be really interesting. So let's go straight into... Hmm. Let's go straight into Cosmo. Cosmo's... Yeah. Could be good. Oh, because I want to breed a... I feel like the shades are gradually getting darker. Which is great. I'm just trying to look for names. <sighs> Silly name from Savannah Horse Lover 6000. Horses Supermarket. I'm not going to call her supermarket today. Ah, uh, Izzy. I, you're from down south, not from Cornwall. Are you from Devon? Getting warmer. You're getting warmer. Not Devon. I'm not in Devon. Okay, Langer Ranger, I have a tip for you when you're racing. Oh, thanks, dude. Where's all my name suggestions? Oh, hey, Hales. Girls, Ariel, Faye, Laura. This is a boy, so boy Aiden. Aiden's a cool name. Aiden. A-I-D-E-N. Thanks for that, dude. Thank you for your name suggestions. Prankster's a good name. That's from Bethany Large. I'm glad we finally bred this guy. So we could use him as a stud, but don't breed him with Cosmo. That's all. I kind of want to go discover uh, opals before anything else happens. So let's go straight into Peacock. Let's see what happens. Oh, another shade of it. Oh, it's got spots on it. Oh, they've all got spots on their face. I've never noticed these two little spots there. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. We need a picture. Why did I not get a picture of the last one? Matrix is quite a cute name, but what did you guys suggest? La 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 Sorry guys, I don't know where that came from. It just felt good at the time. Uh, so popcorn. Mm, what did you... So name ideas from Magdalena Barishwishka. Sorry, I can't say your name. We can't say much in English. We're terrible. Can't read anything. Oh, I like the star signs. We will do constellations. We will. Capella. A capella. A capella. Okay, let's get a wee picture of this. 
I like the colour of this. This is so cute, actually. Different shades of foals. Lovely. Oh, that's really smart, actually. Let's put the mum in. Get some shots here. That's cute. And then take the mum out. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. Okay, let's skip out to Let's see what that ages up like. Could go darker, could go lighter. Oh, it's like a it's like a really bright chestnut. I like that. Hello. You're pretty. That's really pretty. Okay, so let's use Aiden now and breed Aiden. Well, actually, let's go discover Opal. And then we're just going to use Aiden for the next three foals. Ooh, a blue-eyed chestnut. I was not expecting that. With faint dapples. Cute. Breeding the unexpected. That would be a cool video. Oh, no, I've got to sell things. I don't, want to I don't want to sell toast particularly, but let's sell toast. Because we've used him as a stud and he's stunning so he can go off to a new family and have a lovely life. That is really cute. Look at it. Okay, let's give him the stunning. Boss bang. Yeah, I like this. We seem to be breeding loads of dapples today as well. I don't know where that's coming from. Let's check out his lineage. Okay, so we'll sell him because he's not going to produce... I don't think he's not going to produce a... Picacapalusa. Aiden. Capella. Capella. I love that name. It's beautiful. Uh, So yeah, we're just going to breed a full-on load of peacock stuff now. At least I have one peacock stallion. Aiden. Yay! Who are actually? Who are you... Don't breed with Cosmo, but that's fine. We won't breed with Cosmo anyway, because we're just going to breed full-on peacockness. So, like, Capella. Yeah, quick buy is fine. And then, yeah, loads of options. Happy, happy. And we have one more. I believe we have one more. Oh, yeah, let's breed with Opal. So, actually, we have three shades of peacock in here. So, I don't know what they're going to produce. Makes me really happy. I love this game. I don't get bored of this game. But has there a game that has stolen my heart? Possibly. <laughs> oh, guys, we're just going to go for a quick race. I'm just going to hire somebody because look how much money I can make. In one race here. It's awesome. So you can't do this on the mobile version, guys. You have to wait like 400 years to actually, before you can actually like use stuff on that. Is it just loud or is that me? Woohoo! Five million, baby. Yeah. Oh, I love it. It makes me so happy. This game's so relaxing. I just went to record actually Planet Zoo instead for my other channel, Wild Lady Gaming. And next thing you know, they're doing maintenance on it. So, hence the Peacock Appaloosa video was born. I don't know who to find out first. I think let's go in the middle first, because ha let's go to Happy Appy first. Let's see what we get. That's not a pick. That is not what I was expecting at all. <laughs> what? How strange. I love that colour, so I'm not going to worry about it. But wow, let's care for foal. You guys need to come up with some names, dudes. Come on. Silver Moon is a great name from S.O. Man. Oh, do we go to Opal or do we go to Capella first? Let's go to Opal first. Okay, let's do that. Last two foals for today. <laughs> Might be a Pico Capelusa under there. Somewhere. Skip for Tamer. Let's go see. Kick Wave is quite a cute name. Yeah, I reckon it's a peacock, but it's hidden. That's what I reckon. Cool. Kick Wave is cool. Let's have a look. Yes, it is. It's exactly the same. We keep breeding greys with it, which I'm not complaining about because that's wicked. Okay. Last fall for today's video is Capella. So, guys... I've enjoyed this video. I think Peacock Abaloosas, maybe they're growing on me, actually. I didn't like them at first. I Not that I didn't like them, but they're not my preferred colour. It's not something I'd pick out of, out of like, a, if I had a pile of horses, all different colours. 
Peacock, I wouldn't choose that one, you know. But um, that's my opinion. So tell me, tell me your opinion. If you love them, that's fine. But guys, if you are new to the channel, then please do subscribe. Turn that notification bell on. We've got loads of horsey content coming out. We have a question the game. We have loads of other things that you guys need to be like watching out for. Okay, over to this last fall then. Let's go for it. That's not what I was expecting at all. It's really cute. Look at this little sucky. Look at that little sock at the back. That's cute. I like that. Okay, let's just care for fall. And who is going to get the name? The last name. Katie, uh, Kate Brownsword. Let's go Strider. Strider's a great name for horse. Well, hey, oh, Dutch Supernova. You've got some amazing names. So we will use them in the next video. So what a crazy combo. So actually, when you breed the Peacock Appaloosas together, you don't get Peacock Appaloosas necessarily. You have to have a dilute parent by the looks of it. So well done, Aiden. You did well today. And actually, we have managed to breed quite a few different shades so actually let's go back a second because I'm like a multi-horse. You guys know what I'm like my photos. So let's put in all our different shades of peacock. Where's my like, I've got a ginger one and I've got opal, which is very cool. We also have, where's my like honey colored one? Where's my honey colored one? Hmm. I'm so confused. Maybe it's you? Yeah, it's you. So look how like bright and beautiful that is actually. That's really nice. Let's just put this one here a second. Put that one there and then that one there. Yeah, I think that's a nice combo. Let's go to a different backdrop a second. All these different shades. Yeah, they look really cool. I'm pleased with that because I kind of felt like the peacocks were going to be hard to breed. But breeding them together, weird combinations. We bred a lot of this coat pattern, which is the partial leopard. Ah, so there we go. And we bred a lot of dapples like waffle here as well. So, yeah, super duper happy with that. Guys, if you've enjoyed that, please smash the like button for me. I'd really appreciate that. It just helps us out. Yeah, and that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a awesome rest of your day.